in venturing to make a contribution to the debate. I am fully conscious of the difficulties that confront us and of the different forms in which these difficulties present themselves to us in our respective countries. I am also conscious of the fact that representing, as I do, one of the small countries, the views of my government may not be quite in harmony with those whose responsibilities are different owing to their wider and more conflicting interests. Nevertheless, I feel it to be no less than my duty to express frankly my opinion, not only on the matters set down on the agenda, but perhaps more particularly on the fundamental issues that are involved. In doing so, I would ask you to believe that my government's only anxiety is to cooperate here in our endeavors to seek out the real causes of the present economic troubles and such measures of reform as may help us all on the road to stability and security. As the only international monetary standard which is at present likely to command universal acceptance is the gold standard, the idea of bimetallism must be regarded as impracticable. Now my government is not interested in silver and the conclusion of the committee may be quite well founded. But what I want to stress here is that in my opinion, and I submit it with all respect, it is the function of this conference to bring forth such a finding. Much of the internal unrest which distresses countries today has been caused by the differences that have grown out of external impositions and interferences. For this reason, I think we ought to decide in how far any stability can be secured whilst the background of international antagonism continues to poison our relationship in international affairs and prevents that world harmony that the peoples of the world wish today. There has been a growing desire expressed that more ample scope be afforded for international collaboration by developing the use of the Bank of International Settlements. The board of the bank has already announced its intention of being available to the central banks to serve as their common agency in the task of monetary reconstruction. In harmony of operation, in a monetary sense, we will ultimately be forced to accept the principle of the central bank being the ultimate medium through which international exchange, transfer and credit may be operated. 